Yeah, we'll teach you how to install and remove a wheel on any bicycle that uses a quick release skewer. First we'll talk about the skewer. It's made up of several parts. You've got your skewer shaft, your cam lever, a couple of a couple of springs, and your retention nut. The cam lever is what makes a skewer so easy to use. When it's closed, it's tight, and when it's open, it's loose. Before you attempt to remove a wheel, there are a couple things you want to do. First, you want to shift all the way down to the smallest cog on your rear cassette and open up your your brake. So Shimano and many other many other brake brands will have a quick release lever here that works the, pretty similar to the way the cam works on your skewer. Now Campy brakes don't have the quick release lever but they do have a quick release button on the brake lever. You, you depress the brake the lever, push the knob in and it opens it up. Once you have your brake open and your, your chain shifted down, open up your quick release lever and your rear wheel will just drop right out. Open, pull your chain off and your wheel is off. For your front wheel you'll do the same thing. Open up your quick release on your brake, open up the quick release lever on your wheel and you'll notice that the front wheel doesn't drop out. There are what's known as lawyer tabs on your fork ends, which require you to unscrew and open up your quick release. You know, you don't have to take this the retention nut all the way off, just enough to clear those tabs. Now in the case that the nut does come off and the springs come out, the springs attach one on each side with the small end facing in. Now to reinstall the wheel, make sure again that your brake is open. And I find it easier to hold it at the top and guide in the skewer into the tabs with my left hand. Tighten up your retention nut. And you'll want to have it tight so that the quick release engages at about the halfway point. So you start to feel pressure at the halfway point, and then your quick release is tight. Now to install the rear wheel, you want to again ensure that your brake is open, and you shift it all the way down. Take the wheel from the top, and line up your smallest cog with the chain. Pull your derailleur open, and it should pull right into your dropouts. And if you hadn't adjusted your your quick release at all it should be the right tightness. If you did, you might have to adjust it a little bit. Same as on the front, to where it's tight but not too tight. Once you have your wheels installed, you want to check to see that your brake still engages in the proper spot. If it is off, it could mean that your wheel is off. And a good way to make sure that your wheel is, is installed evenly on both sides is to have your bike on the ground and then recheck. And you want to have your quick release skewers on the non-drive side of the bicycle.